Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you have enjoyed the videos that you've watched already, please like and subscribe because that really is helpful and supportive to growing this channel out there and obviously sharing in this regard ASMR relaxation uh, to as many people as possible because the world can be quite stressful. For today's video, if we just get straight on into it, I again was very fortunate enough to collab with ASMR Beauty again. Absolutely wonderful patient. And the video we recorded was a one month follow up with kinesiology. If you've watched the previous video where I explained a bit about what kinesiology was or is, I'll just do a slight recap with explaining that it's a muscle testing modality. So you use your muscles to see how you respond to different problems or issues that might arise, including maybe things such as nutrition or viruses or parasites or certain foods that don't you believe that don't agree. So we can confirm that in this work. But on a very subtle le level, we're working on an energy aspect as well. And we're seeing how your body responds to movements when different energies are brought onto the body. So for example, if I bring a parasite vial and I put it onto your body, I call it without you putting it into your energy circuit. And then we're seeing, does this agree being in your circuit or not? Are you very, um, are you able to withstand the virus or the parasite, etc.? So it's a very helpful tool that I use. And I would say also much more cost effective than, for example, when I work with gut health, you know, a lot of people that I attract have parasites and illness in their gut. And if you have to go for a stool uh, sample or test, you know, these can cost exorbitant amounts in thousands. Um, with giving you an, maybe in a sense, a validation of what is imbalanced, but not really helping you with what is your cure. So with kinesiology, I can do that in the same session within minutes. So it's also time efficient where we can say, okay, uh, your body's tested for this um, parasite or virus. And then with my knowledge of understanding nutrition, then I can match it with different supplements, nutrition, herbs, and seeing which one your body responds well to. Because even though there might be a generic protocol, it doesn't necessarily agree, mean, or that your body wants to receive it or can receive it. Because sometimes you need something as a precursor to absorb um, sometimes your body's not strong enough because I have had um, people over the years that are very un unwell that they don't even have energy to even heal. So we need to start on a slower rate at a slower dosage, but then your body can tell me that because we want to see if the nutrition or the herbs are going to raise your vital energy, raise your vital force, and then get you fighting back stronger. So we wouldn't even necessarily use the amounts as prescribed on the bottle. So it's really your body saying what it really needs. So from the previous session, what I like to do with people that I work with in clinic is do monthly kinesiology sessions because it's non-invasive. We can look at the full spectrum of everything, energy, nutrition, physical imbalances, muscle pains. Um, we can talk through things as well that might be coming up, maybe even guidance and mentorship as well. So it's all encompassing. Um, and just seeing what your body needs, because what I think people don't recognize from my experience is that they may, might, for example, buy a supplement and they just take it for life. But maybe you just needed it for a few days. Maybe you needed it for a few weeks. Maybe you need to take it every odd month. That's fine. But we need to ask your body in the moment what it needs, because different situations, scenarios, events will arise, different stress will arise, differences in the weather you know, finances, relationship issues, etc. So sort of how we're flowing like an energy form, we just want to accommodate that in the kinesiology just to keep you right on track. Um, so I really love this as a preventative medicine um, or modality because it's very, very all-encompassing and customized to the individual. So in the session today, that you're about to watch and I hope you enjoy and again uh, please like if um, please like and sub subscribe maybe leave a comment about what you really enjoyed within the session and again if something you've resonated with 
or something you didn't know before that you know now because of this video or even just saying how um, it supported you in relaxing. I am a teacher and educator by trade, so I talk a lot. Um, so yes, I'd like to ensure that people leave with um, a basket full of understanding rather than just coming in and leaving unsure about what has happened and what they received. Very detail orientated. So yes, the purpose of today's session was just to review how Mel has progressed with taking her supplements and nutrition. And again, based on her consultation for that session, what else she wanted to have addressed or looked at or visited. So no further ado, we're going to let you go and watch the video. And I'd love to know your comments. Enjoy. You ready? You can come onto the couch. Thank you. Um, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so you do remember everything, I suppose, yes? So I hope so, yeah. yeah. How I first like to start the sessions as well now, just because it's a follow-up. Um, mm -hmm. So obviously you've said to me what you'd like to do. So today I've drawn up like a list of different, like checklist of things I want to do with you, just in terms of your hairs in your face. Um, and even to start with, is there anything in terms of emotions that you'd like to just have addressed that I can give you some flowers to start with or sort some of the flowers? back flowers, the, the drops that we do? Ah, so. um, I've had quite bad sleep this week, like not generally, I'm usually really good, but for some reason I keep having like really, like not nightmares, but like stress dreams, I think about the next day. Um, and then I look at my Apple Watch and it's like, oh, you slept six hours. And I'm like, that can't be right. I've been in bed eight hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think I keep waking up in the night. Of but course. It's, it's just this week and there's literally no reason why that should be the case. So, Well, in terms of astrology and planetary alignments, so there was just a full moon. Um, apparently there's a Mercury retrograde. So basically there's a lot of funky stuff going on at the moment. <laughs> so we're all being like, oh what's happening to us so um, that could be potentially why so always when the planets are moving because our body predominantly is 70 percent water so with the moon um going in it will pull on our water levels right. and that will affect your mood like for me i suffer with insomnia during that time okay um, not massively but yeah. like like oh i might as well watch a series tonight because i don't want to go to bed so it could be happening with that so right. the astrology guy that um is my client he said uh bank on a couple of weeks of havoc no. <laughs> and mayhem <laughs> great <laughs> yeah so just to, on that light note <laughs> lol okay so what i'll do is i'll just give you a couple of things just oh, I'll this one out. okay so same story just lift your tongue so that one will just be for a bit of overwhelm and just and then we got I've got this one out already for you just for thoughts it's called white chestnut maybe I have to say it on the phone so elm the first one white chestnut and then walnuts is very good just sort of to protect your energy so I just like to do that so I'm just going to welcome you into space I'm just going to place my hand so you can close your eyes for a couple of minutes or seconds just want to connect with you. I'm going to invite you to take some deep breaths in through your belly, so nice and slow in through the nose and out through the mouth. All right, so just in terms of following up a little video, um, obviously you had your session last time. So today I've done a sort of like a listed plan of what we're gonna do. I'm gonna check some muscles. Then I'm gonna just recheck the three vials that you tested for last time just to see. Because sometimes what you test for can get cleared enough with the nutrition. Okay. And sometimes it can still persist. Right. right, and that might just indicate, okay, just carry on with the supplements and nutrition. Okay. Um, 
and then I'll move on because again to today you said you'd like to focus on neck and shoulder sort of structural stuff which from your last session really was the one that was only coming up so that's quite good yeah good. <laughs> I think it's good sometimes it's all four you know um, structure emotion nutrition um, and electrical imbalance or so energy right. all right so if we start I'm going to start with the casual first one so I'll do just I'll show you range of motion where I'm going to push down then we'll move into the next one just on straight and that one yeah okay okay so just a reminder I'm going to say the word hold and then you're going to create some slight resistance then I'm going to do an action that's going to try and switch the muscle off hold okay that's good okay just slightly up okay I'm going to go down this way you go that way Okay, and hold. Go away, I go again, hold. Perfect. Hold. Okay, good. And relax. Um, I want to do this one first as well. Okay, so I'm going to, I call it the penguin. It's not called the penguin, but it's my, what I call it. So I'm going to push in like that. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, so you yeah, you yeah it. that's fine. Exactly. That's what we want. The body to respond. Okay, so hold. Hold. Okay, good. Let's do this bilaterally. Okay, hold. Hold. Okay, good. Then you're going to take your hands and place it behind your back. So the range of motion I'm going to do is like that. Okay, so you're going to push down. Yeah, hold. Hold. Okay, see, and hold. Hold. Okay, so this one we're going to work on a bit, right? So release your hand. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to push. Um, I'm going to push down. You push that way again. Okay, so hold. Okay, then I'm going to do full hold. So hold. 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 Okay, so back flowers. Let's see. Go back to this one again. Let's see, I feel like you might need this one. Let's test it out. Okay. And hold. Nice and strong. Okay, hold. And then let's go with this one, relax. So I'll give you this one as well. So this one is quite, it's popularly known as like putting on a brave face like feeling you always have to like show up and sometimes it's hard and you have to like put on a mask I don't know if that's how you feel or mm -hmm. like in the lake I'm just gonna do that Okay, do that position again for me. Okay, so eyes open, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna pull up, you pull down, okay, and hold. Hold. Okay, good. This one, hold. Hold. Okay, good. Let's go and relax. Okay, so let me go to my list now. We can go now into the files. All right, so I'm just gonna test this one again. So hold, this one as well, hold. We need to do one more. This one bent. Yep. So the idea is I'm gonna push down. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's the range of motion. So again, hold, hold. Okay, good, release, and then this one. Okay, hold, hold. Okay, good, release, that's good. Right. Let's go here. Hold your arm up for me. <laughs> okay, great. So I'm just gonna do it here. Okay, and hold. Good, that's testing strong. Hold, good. Hold. Double check that one, okay. 
I'm going to test it on this one as well. Okay, sorry, your hair's in your way here. Okay, and I'm going to push down. You push up, yeah, hold. Okay, that's good. And then we're just going to leave that one on here. And let's just check. So I'm going to push down, you push up and hold. Good. Okay, and hold. That's great. Okay, so the last three, um, so the files that you tested for last time, which was virus, fungus, and H. pylori are fine now. So I think those supplements have been sufficient for what you needed. So good. Yeah, Yay. that's great. I know, right? <laughs> I love it. I was so worried if the opposite happened. I was like, oh no. Sometimes um, it depends how old the issue is or how long term it's been. Like for right. example, if you've had parasites in your gut for years and they've been creating havoc and damage or bacterial overload, then that can obviously take time to repair. Some things can be more embedded, da 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 da. Um, so you just do treatment for a bit longer. Yeah. So it wouldn't be something that is not irreversible. So okay. yeah, so don't oh, worry, okay. don't worry. <laughs> okay. Um, right, so I've done this one. Sorry, I'm gonna do this one as well. So I'm gonna push down and hold. Again, hold. Okay. Same story like your arm. You're gonna lift your leg. I'm gonna push down. Okay, and hold. Mm, okay. Yeah. Hold. Okay, drop. Okay, let's just test this one again. Okay, and hold. Okay, so four holds. So hold, 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 hold. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna rub up inside the thighs. Are you exercising at the moment? I've done a lot of walking, but okay. no like high intensity stuff yet. Okay. Oh yeah, it's definitely more tender that side. Yeah. It might even be, for example, carrying your bags on the one arm and then creating an imbalance mm. through compensation. Okay, let's just come under. The nutrition you're on at the moment, you said it was a probiotic and something else. Uh, like it hides like a daily multivitamin kind of thing. A bit higher, there we go, and hold. No, I don't want that one. Okay, and hold. invert your hands, both of them for me.
Let's see. Okay, again, and hold. Good, okay. Okay, so the same story to lift straight, straight leg, straight leg. Okay, and hold. Just a little bit more. Okay, and hold. So that one's better. Right, let's do a little bit more of this. too much. Let's see with this one again. Okay, and hold. Okay, better not sure. Okay, that's so a different. Yeah, hold. There we go. Good. That's okay. so weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're going to add a new level to it. We're going to lift both of these up. Okay. Okay, I'm going to push down and hold. Okay, still a bit weak there combined. Okay, and hold. Yeah, okay, just a little bit so it's fine. I'll address them. You were so right about getting sleepy every time you do this. <laughs> like instantly my mm. eyes just like flutter closed. It's like the portal I create in this place. It's like the the subtle seduction. So calm. That's why I'd say out of all my treatments, kinesiology is a bit tricky because you have to stay engaged. Yeah, like I'm like, oh, they're shut now, but I know I need to open them. <laughs> yeah. But that's what helps, because um, I'm an intuitive worker, I usually can get people to relax and sleep and then I can, I feel and I, I feel guided. Mm. Um, but obviously because it's being filmed, I do it yeah. strictly properly, <laughs> so I don't give a different perspective to what it is like. Oh yeah, you said you um, do it remotely as well, right? Uh, yes, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so kinesiology is obviously not as popular globally as it should be. It's usually quite popular in America. So in the UK, it's growing quite a lot, um, where a lot of people think it's inaccessible, but I can do remote sessions and distance sessions as well. I just ask for a couple of items that people can post to me. So some can be weird, where I ask for like nail clippings or strands of hair, freshly brushed or just chopped off from the root. Um, if it's local and easier, then people can send like a clothing item. 
um, but usually a photo and I'll do an online Zoom meeting so I can meet the person and the energy and then I can tune in and I can do remote work. Another um, popular thing is if, for example, you can't get to the clinic or for whatever reason, we can do surrogate testing. So someone can come on your behalf and same with the items or we can just say this is the person and then you can become the person, which is fun. Um, and then basically you can do the work on their behalf and then it's going into that shamanic energy work where we can do transmission of energy healing so you can find out what nutrition they might need or supplements, um, which seems quite <laughs> different, but when you're open to energy work, anything is possible. I going to say, it sounds kind of fun to be a stand-in. Mm. I yeah, enjoy that just as much yeah, as yeah. being myself. <laughs> I remember um, was when I was training and I got my boyfriend to stand in and then um, I got him to be the, he was basically being my surrogate for distance work and then he'd be really shocked because we know what his normal things are that he's good at or strong in yeah. and what he isn't and then all of a sudden he'd be like, because you say my name is and you say your name is and then you're strong, then you take over the other person and you go my name is your original name is <laughs> that's so weird yeah. I really enjoy it because it's like the spooky face like you yeah. see a ghost and you're like that's crazy um, a lot of people out there who don't understand it you know they say oh it's not real trust the GPs trust the doctors mm. everyone has their own right but I think this is technology that's very advanced so to grasp it takes a, a lot of different thinking broadening your mindset mm. um, it's a bit crunchy here is it sore? It's not sore, but I can feel the, yeah. the crunchiness. Because um, we stand all day, we sit all day, everything yeah. gets quite stagnant here. Mm -hmm. And we forget to love our feet. We really do. I, mean, I certainly don't. <laughs> I think about the idea, because I'm an analogy person, about how we suffocate our feet in socks and shoes all day probably never wearing the right shoe size. Like women with high heels, you just yeah. So I'm like mm. being a basic nerd and researcher, understanding all the things in life, yeah. medically, medical, energetic, trying to get a person to be like the best version of themselves. And I call it like mm. a Rubik's cube. Like we all have our combination that we're out of balance. And then I find the right recipe to unlock mm. or decrypt your combination. Mm. Um, I'm all about, and this comes into my job when I was an accountant, efficiency, effectiveness and efficiency. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, people can be, my favorite is chronically ill people. People, GPs won't see me anymore. I've been sick mm. for years. I can't get out of bed. Three sessions. Yeah. They're really getting their life back. So it's really good. My, it's mm. like my niche. Aww. But not only, but yeah. it's my, my favorite. Like, it's like, I can help you, I'm sure, you know? Like Try the last hope. <laughs> yeah, basically, and just giving people hope is such mm. a powerful healer in itself. The belief that you can heal. So just gonna lift this, okay, and I'm gonna push down. So hold. Yeah, so that one's not wobbling like it was. That's great. Okay, I'm sorry, this is a bit high now. So, okay, and hold. Yeah, right. This one a bit more. <laughs> it feels so nice though. Yeah. I can't feel it like. The crunchiness. Yeah, it's very crunchy. Yeah. <laughs> like peanut butter. <laughs> mm. So this is something, again, a lot of what I love about this uh, modality is a lot of the techniques are quite simple and you can do it at home. So nothing stopping you from mm. doing this on yourself a few minutes a day or even um, exfoliation gloves people know dry brushing but I'm a fan uh. of my I'm a fan of trying to make yourself booby trapped like you go somewhere and you're like oh trigger so put the exfoliation gloves in the shower right. when you go sh everyone showers hopefully every day <laughs> hopefully um and then you put the gloves on you lather it up and you sh stimulate do it on your feet give it two three rubs mm -hmm. I say to people do about 20 times just as a because you never know if you scrub, 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 you're like, was that five, ten, right. two? Just like how many glasses of water do you drink a day? Yeah, I always forget. Sorry. 
Yeah, it feels like there's like a bubble there. Yeah, it's very tight. I'm just going to move your foot around. So that, again, that's showing, showing me you need to do some more cardiovascular up and down. Right. So your lymphatics, I think, would need some help. Let's try okay, so I guess walking's not enough. No. Hold. Go again, hold. Right. Try Keep this going. one individually. Hold. Yeah. Have you got any injuries? No. Okay. We'll come back to that a little bit more. Uh, what else did I want to do with you? Let's yeah, try the lymphatics. Okay, so I'm gonna lift your legs up. I'm just gonna hold your legs up for a bit, about 15 seconds. Wrap you up like a little uh, tortilla. Thank you. Can you go over high? Is that okay? Yeah, it's yeah. It's not uncomfortable. No, I quite like it. <laughs> Feels like yoga. <laughs> VIP yoga I do for you. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, the Thai massage. Yeah, I had a Thai massage recently and it was a bit like this where we lifted everywhere. Was she strong? Yeah. Wow, well, yeah. I want to go to the ones where they like stand on you holding like the pole in the sky and they go jump, jump, jump. That sounds terrifying. Well, I don't know if you, I like hard massage, like quite deep sports. Okay, <sighs> let's do this quickly. Okay, and hold. Okay, drop. Okay, so lymphatics, we're going to do, all right, just want to feel for you, sorry, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, doesn't mean if it's painful, I'm just going to lift your legs up again. Okay, just hold. Okay, good. Stronger. So what you're going to just do is you're going to take a couple of fingers, just do it sort of just behind the ear, just there. Okay, I'm going to do the bent leg one and just look towards that side. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to say and hold. Wait, am yeah. I going inwards? You going, yeah, inwards. Okay, correct, yeah. yeah. And hold. It's shaking, okay. And hold. That one's good. So just go back to this one, okay. And hold. No, definitely. Okay, so um, other side now. So hold the other side. Okay, and hold. Mm -hmm. Okay, both sides. Okay, and hold. Okay.
let's quickly see. So just touch with the one hand again. Okay, and hold. Okay, and hold. Other side. Okay, let's go hold. And the other way. This hand on the other side. Okay, and hold. Last one. Hold. Nice. Okay. What else? Yeah, okay, so you're going to hold just under your ribs. You're going to breathe in, and then you'll hold it, and then I'm going to use your leg again, okay? Okay. So that's, so when you breathe in, you hold, and then I'll do this, okay? Hold. Hey, okay. That's fine. That's just cranial work, so bring... So when I do this, you're going to flex your feet and breathe in, and then when I release, you... Okay, so we'll do about six times, yeah? Okay, and breathe in. And out. And out. In. is four and then five the last one okay so same story so hold your ribs again breathe in okay and hold nice so quick and simple isn't it um Light is so nice. <laughs> I know, I call it the kitty lamp, like a cat that goes to the fire. <laughs> you just relax. Yep. Alright, so let's just check this is in. Yeah, we'll do this one actually. And hold. Okay, so quite straightforward and simple. You're just going to look at this a couple of seconds. I'm going to ask you to hold again. Yeah? Okay. Okay, and hold. Okay, nice and strong. So good, so you don't need that technique. Fabulous. And I want to, okay, yeah, let's do this one. So you're going to do your head there. <laughs> right? What I'm going to do is going to try to scoop it out, right? So okay. you're going to hold it, okay? And then I'll do a bit of movement there. Okay, so hold, hold, okay, good, that's working, okay, and hold, hold, okay, good, that's working, so don't need that one, um, I call this the ballerina, again, my words, not the true names, <laughs> um, you're going to put your one hand above your head, like the ballerina does, and then you're going to bend this one like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push out like that, yeah? So obviously I'm going to push out, so you push in. In, okay. Okay. So just get close as possible. Okay. So, and hold. Okay, good. That's working. And then swap for your next performance. <laughs> just slightly in the flatter. Is that possible? Yeah. Okay. Hold. Hold. Okay, good. That's perfect. So that's in working order. So your neck muscles are quite good, actually. Oh, that's good. I don't know if that surprises you or not. Yeah, it does, because they're, they're always really tight. So. Yeah. So again, what I've been doing, pulling your ears. Yeah. You can do that. Um, I'm going to just wiggle, waggle here. side. Okay, and I'm going to do it again. Hold. Just fine. Let's try this side as well. Hold. Okay, let's get up. I'm just going to move you a little bit. Okay, and hold. Yeah, that's fine. Go 
grounding and balance is good. Coracles. Um, I think that's pretty good actually. Uh, I just want to check how much dosage for this one. So, clear off everything. Okay, and hold. Drop. Okay, and again. Hold. Okay. Hold. Okay, good. Okay, so that's two a day. And hold. Hold. Okay. And yeah, I think that's pretty good. Very good session today. So we're just yeah. going to wind down. So you can just relax and close your eyes for a minute. Yeah, I want to sleep here. <laughs> Honestly, I would. I would genuinely fall asleep. Fall asleep. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, because there was a lot to do today. So summary, just to get you back in the room. Um, structural focused. We tested the stuff from your last session. So we tested mm. in the clear. So that's great. Um, supplements. Um, you tested for today. Just one. Okay. We call it magnesium calmies. So. It's something that will help support your muscles. Um, obviously, minerals obviously good for the brain. Um, so 
clear any clarity of thought, that kind of thing, but also just to help uh, reduce cortisol, which is adrenal stress in the body. Okay. So I advise people to take it at night. Right. You test it for two uh, servings a day, so we'll just take, it's really nice, just do two servings and a little bit of water, drink it before bed, but I'll tell you that separately when we text. Okay. Um, and then a back flower, which is called chestnut bud. So just learning from past mistakes, obviously anything's about thoughts, that kind of thing. Mm. Um, and then, yeah, so obviously from today's session, something noticeable in your right leg. Mm. Um, we've done a lot of work in terms of strengthening it, but I think um, more sessions for that will be beneficial. Mm. Same thing, like homework always helpful. Like, um, like I say, just rubbing your feet up and down. Yeah. You can, like, you understand from lots of Chinese medicine things that you've done as well. The feet represent the body, the hands represent the body, the face represent the body, the ears. Mm -hmm. So whatever you do here, mm -hmm. like you saw I did, you can do on your hands as well. Okay. And very easy. You feel the crunchy bits, work on it. Okay. And you see with time it will dissolve. And again, another thing, lymphatics. Um, just get two, three quid on Amazon exfoliation gloves and just really exfoliate, um, rule of thumb, exfoliate up, uh, F up, exfoliate up to the heart, not down. Right. Because that's how you clear your lymphatics. Obviously, like anything, make sure you drink enough water. Mm. I always say rule of thumb for every 30 kilograms a person is, try have one liter. Um, okay. If, like, like matcha tea, for example, or you're having a lot of caffeinated beverages or high sugar intake or lots of heavy, oily, greasy food or dense yeah. food, then you'll need to compensate with more. More um, And just, yeah, just getting into some form of more cardiovascular mm. intensive exercise. So right. it doesn't have to be high intensity like CrossFit, like <laughs> but <laughs> don't go crazy, but just ensure that when you're exercising, you're just getting some um, raising in the heart rate. Right. Um, and just feel like that you could be slightly out of breath and it's like, okay, that's good. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, I think that will also help because for me intuitively as well, I just feel that you'll need to do some glute strengthening. Right. And fascia lata. So even like a couple of like squats. Squats. 10, 20 a day. Don't push yourself. Yeah, but do that while brushing my teeth or something. Yeah. Try to like, fit it in, yeah. Perfect. Like I say, always booby trap yourself with triggers. You go to the mirror, you like brush your teeth, and it's like... Yeah, have it stacking. <laughs> yeah, like I say, because it's the only way it'll get done. Yeah. The same thing I learned from my chiropractor, because um, I tell everyone to get a toilet step to help with toilet goings, but he always says just um, sort of do like a forward roll stretch whilst you're on the toilet. Um, so you can just really stretch out your back. Yeah. Because you'll sit there and almost like uh, potty training or <laughs> routine training, your body goes, Oh, I need to do that because I'm here now. That's smart. It's like a good use of time. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, another one is always like when you're boiling your kettle, just do side lunges as well just to stretch out. Because all the trauma or the inflexibility usually, most mm. commonly, is because of here, the pelvic floor, the hip flexors. It's all tight from here. And right. if you think of it as the central piece of the body, yeah, it's communicating to both sides. Um, so if we can get that loosened, then things will work better and flow better, um, and you'll be more flexible as well. So, right. Okay. Yeah. So flexible is good. Yes. Being more like more like a ballerina. Don't. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's a good goal. <laughs> Never aim too high. <laughs> I mean, so. I can do the pose now. So. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. You're Thank you.